So overnight, this is how bad my run lines have moved. I'm on my wheel marks exactly. And <laughs> my run lines have shifted over there. So. And then I just go like this. And then that's going to be correct again. And then I can exit that. Because that's bang on. That's crazy. I know they move a little, but that's a lot. Oh well. Out for now. Urea from there has to make it into there. <laughs> Lol. So this is my view. This is a little little screen that the uh, Kun Axis thing uses, spreader uses. So that's our other one. I'm not in the other screen. You can have this big screen, but I'm just watching the heck there, so. Yeah. And once you go going, you really don't kind of need it, because I'm using this screen here to steer. So, yeah. That's the bin, you can see some urea in there still. I don't know, you can see real clear or not. I can see it flicking in the naked eye, flicking out. I can see it in the mirror. Can you? Guess you'll find out. I'll find out before you, because I'll, I'll look, look at this before I edit it. Oh, what have we got? 1.6 tons. Here we'll get another run. Probably not up again, so I'll probably go around the road and come out somewhere else. It's hard to know where to come out sometimes. Like, I get the halfway. It's like, do I go left down my mark or do I go right down my mark? And it's just like, well, I'll go right down my mark. <laughs> well, down my old mark from the first lap. I only did one because I can actually turn on one lap externally so um, yeah and we we'll reduce speed anyway because don't want to tear anything up and uh, having the dirt in the bucket helps so yeah I think that's definite must have when you're not wanting to tear anything up it didn't matter how light you steered without dirt in the bucket they would always push some dirt around so you know unless your bin was nearly empty but yeah. Three hundred and twenty nine. We've done a hundred and fifty four point six. Oh well. Out for now. So yeah, it's Friday. Um head for the Z twenty four I'm working on in that $100 Navara I picked up and it was finished and my stepmom picked it up from Claire and tomorrow I picked it up from old man's last night um, yeah because she spent some time over there I do believe because they're all sick I mentioned that in the last video so they can all be sick together and I don't want their wog um, I might try and put that back together this weekend if I get a chance. Long weekend. But I've got some other stuff on the cards. Tonight I'm going to pick up an engine. 109cc or 2.5 horsepower Briggs contraption. I've got this rotary hoe. Um, one of the neighbours dropped it off at Old Man's. And the engine is seized up. And the carb is Carby's fine, the tank's rusted out, that's what's wrong with it. The front cover's missing. It's just, yeah, if they've had a front cover, I could concoct a uh, pull start or buy a pull start for it, but it has no front cover and I could unseize the engine and, and whatever. And it's got a three quarter inch with a single key shaft on it, so it's about 19 mil. Um, and a grub screw for this rotary hoe. So it's gonna be real quick to get this rotary hoe going because only four bolts are holding it there. And anyway, uh, I found an engine last night. 
on, on Facebook and uh, the posting said Malala and he, as, as I was talking to the lad, lad's still in school, um, he's like, in the messages he's like, um, Hosky's Corner, I'm like, beauty, just out of Balaclava, I'll be, I'll be there, for, I'll be there straight away, like, tonight, when I finish work, so, uh, $100, it's probably a little, little dear, but, I mean, it runs, so I don't care, it's saving me a few hours of messing around, and, you know, the young lad probably could build some money, and, um, it's all there, and he says he's got spare parts, I'm like, well, you know what? I reckon, I reckon it probably is actually might, might, might be a good deal uh, now, that, now that I really think about it. So, you know, uh, I think it's a win win. A couple of spare heads and whatnot. It'd be nice if you had a spare front cover because if I could resurrect the other one, I probably would try. I know it doesn't have a fuel tank, but I mean, it's only a capillary system anyway, so you just make your own float and then. It pumps, usually they pump it up into a little chamber. And the little chamber actually rusts out as well, normally. And then, um, yeah. So there's that. There, I'll, I'll explain in detail how the Briggs contraption works with the carby that's mounted on top of the fuel tank. It's uh, when I've got one in front of me. So yeah, and especially this other one that's rusted out, there's a good prototype to show because you can actually see internally how they work. Um, yeah, some of the real small tanks suck right from the bottom. Uh, some of the bigger tanks suck from the bottom, goes into a little reservoir and then feeds into the carburetor. So yeah, I've got a little vacuum diaphragm pump on the inlet manifold. Anyway. So that's tonight, tomorrow, I was hoping to have a bit of a sleep in and then do some work on this shoot. then I've got to help a neighbour out, he's got a starter motor and glow plugs to do. Um, on his ute, Sunday I'm waiting for another lad to turn up with some paperwork. We should have already done his end, we've actually put our end in so. Anyway, never mind. Um, I am a little disappointed. 700 kilos left. So you can get the end of this row. 600 kilos won't make it all the way back. I have to find a way to get out down here. Find the closest point of exit. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm not at the end of my run yet, so it's all good. Um, and Monday, well, I didn't even realise until the boss was telling me that it's a long weekend. And you know, yesterday was the first day that I really got to listen to the radio, so I've, I've heard it broadcasted, obviously. Um, so I didn't know that I had Monday off. <laughs> I'm just like, all right, well, I'm not sure. Maybe going do some shooting, I don't know. Get some targets on some paper. I'm not sure. I've got a rifle that I've changed scopes on it and then decided it in. So I might just do that. It's a, it's only a bird shooter. I'll turn my steer off. And go out this way I do believe. Short away. So yeah. Drive on my old marks. Turn that off. That didn't work. This touch screen is very fiddly on the on the little tractor. Take that out of gear, idle that back, put that there, stop that from recording. Cool. Now we can find an exit. So yeah. Um, I don't know. Don't know what to do. I've got heaps of these Federals left there. They're nice rounds, but I'd like the side end with my CCI stuff. But then it's going to be different. Um, the CCI stuff I'm using, from 50 yard zero, has only got three inches to drop. Whereas the Federals I'm using, 
from a 50 yard zero up to a, a, a say three inch drop that's up to 100 yards um, at 100 yards for a six and a half inch drop so yeah and they don't segment these ones are the federals are only round nose round nose no they are hollow pointed but they don't segment they just flatten out that's a nice spot. If I drive this way and follow my mark back in, I should be right. Um, so, yeah. I like the uh, CCI stuff I'm using because they segment. So, when you actually go and take down pest birds and things like that, they don't even know what's hidden. They don't, they don't survive it. There's, there's not really a chance of wounding one and having it fly off because it doesn't, it doesn't happen. Don't even flap, so which is good, you know. Like, yeah, anyway, drive back from the load out for now. And there's my mathematics for the day. So, yeah, we're all still going, right? Six loads, I'm at number seven, so going out at 103.6. So, yeah, it is what it is. camera can see me but I can't see it. Anywho, um, this is a very experimental piece of footage but uh, it's 2.30 and I'm still going and I've got 130 hectares to go. Yep. Anywho, uh, knocked my speed up because the wind's dropped. I've only knocked my speed up for 23 k's an hour. Uh, it was pretty windy before, so we're only doing 20. And uh, yeah, I've eaten all my food, drank all my soft drink, and. All I got is water, which is in the telehandler. Like, I want my water now, but it's in the telehandler over there. So, meh, lots of light. Turn the air conditioner up a bit. Oh, I don't know. The shit all on the radio. Play a few good songs here and there. Everything else has been working properly. There's still nothing to report. Except for I've got more work next week to do apparently. Be putting that SOA for somebody else, so yeah. At a hundred 180 kilograms a heck there, that'll be interesting. Up to that corner shortly. Back out back to there. Turn my steering off. Because this one the sensor's dicky on, so you just can't use it because it's been taken out. we go. Back up to 20. Time. See where that gets me. 622. Meant to be picking up an engine. We'll get there. I've got one, two, three, three full runs, or four full runs, and uh, a part run to do. And then I'll be jumping in the U and going and getting this little engine, because I'm actually quite happy to have this little engine, because I, I really come across it by accident. Um, I was going to put two-stroke engine on this rotary hoe, but 
uh, I found basically the correct one for it. Uh, well, the same as what was on there. Um, yeah, it might be a bit newer. I don't know. Well, I looked at it. I seen a bit of a photo of it. But, um, yeah. It's going to bolt straight on. I don't have to modify things. This is a good thing. <laughs> so, I might be able to play with it. So, that'll be something. 329 hectares to go. 29 and a half. 29. Uh, I'm not gonna, uh, 29 and point. Oh, yeah, I give up. Woo. You'll notice I got nudge mode on because every time you leave, it's, it's good if you've got a row that you can finish on or poke your wheels down a row that you've already got half started. And I ran out halfway down. So uh, it was good, I put on my old wheel marks and center it and just go. So yeah, it's, uh, it's a bonus because it, it shifts around because I've been out of the field and whatnot. So yeah, I'm doing 22 and a half. Tracking. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Last run. Last run. That's not even a run. It's a part run. So, yeah, part run between runs. So, yep. Do this. Park tractor in the shed. Jump in the ute. Get some money out. Get the engine and go home. <laughs> There's a corner somewhere. Somewhere. You know, the lights on this tractor would be really, really good if the front loader kit wasn't in the way. I mean, they're not terrible, but I mean, there's nearly a better light on the LA case. Just because there's no obstructions and it's only got two lights. Right, every light on high beam, you can definitely see further. There's the end. Hooray! Um, I'll slow down. Slow down some more. Oh, yeah, it's just telling me that I'm empty, but I've got 200, 200 kilos left. Oh, how's that for coming out on my marks? Absolutely beautiful. Now, Turn that off, turn that off, turn that off, turn that off, turn, I'll oh, never turn that off. So, wind that up to 40 k's an hour and away we go. And away we go. Off to the shed. That way. I got a lot more than I thought I was getting. Got this one, which goes, apparently, I believe him. Only thing is, it's got to be mounted like that. I've got all these. The back plate I need is probably this one here. So I can mount it like that, so I might just swap it over. Um, but there's like the best part of well there's another engine that's only missing manifolds and the plate for there which I'm sure might be in here I think more than likely 
But if not, there's a plate like that on my other one, on the old one. All the old one is, is seized up and missing the front cover and all the governor components, you know, like... There's probably enough here to make a, another one. So... Yeah. <laughs> Just little valves. Ah, oh, tiny. Anyway. No, I think the shaft size is different. I need 19 mil. This is 5.8, which is 16. So I have to make a, a shim. But that's okay. Job for another weekend.